All right, so uh, in this video, we talk about memory hierarchy. So generally speaking, faster memory is more expensive than slower memory. So uh, in order to provide the best performance at the uh, lowest cost, uh, memory uh, usually uh, is uh, organized in a hierarchical uh, fashion. So uh, basically, in this uh, uh, hierarchical fashion, small fast storage elements are kept in uh, the CPU. Uh, on the other hand, larger, slower memory is accessed through the database. Um, in, in this architecture, the larger or uh, most uh, permanent storage in the form of the disk and tape drive is the, uh, still further uh, uh, farther uh, from the uh, CPU. So here the graphical representation of the uh, memory hierarchy. Um, so basically in this uh, storage organization, uh, we can think that as a pyramid, uh, where at the bottom uh, of the pyramid, we have the larger capacity storage space, uh, and um, with the less cost, while go to the top of the pyramid, uh, we have a smaller uh, storage space, are more costly, uh, however, the speed is much faster compared with the uh, stories at the bottom of the pyramid. So, for example, you can see right here um, at the bottom, right here, we have the removable hard drives. So, the access time of the hard drive is um, around 12 to 14, uh, 40 uh, milliseconds. Um, and um, this gap a um, uh, offline is mean the um, uh, story require either human or robotic uh, intervention before any data can be accessed. And um, basically, in this uh, in this uh, uh, case, the data must be transferred from the storage media to the second memory first, and before it can be uh, uh, transferred uh, to the uh, system or the uh, CPU for processing. Uh, however, as you can see that uh, with this gap, a uh, last story, uh, the the, uh, the the cost is much much uh, uh, less compared with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, memory at the uh, top of here, like a register or L uh, L1 uh, cache or L2 cache. Okay, so this gap a, a very good um, uh, graphical representation of the uh, memory hierarchy. Uh, this includes uh, multiple dimension. Um, including the uh, capacity, um, the uh, cost, and also the access time, all right? So uh, we are most uh, interested in the memory hierarchy that involve the register, uh, cache, main memory, and the virtual memory. So basically, uh, register are uh, storage to the location available on the processor itself. Um, the other hand, virtual memory is uh, typically implemented using a hard drive. Uh, it extends the address space from the RAM to the hard drive. And um, virtual memory provide more space um, uh, in uh, cache memory is uh, why uh, cache memory uh, provide a speed uh, where it allow the system quickly to access to the uh, data uh, uh, with, with much much uh, shorter time compared with the other uh, uh, type memory. So um, to access a, a particular piece of data, the CPU will first send a uh, request to its nearest memory, usually the cache, and uh, if, if the data is not in the cache, then the uh, memory is uh, uh, perform uh, the uh, uh, then the, the, the main memory is query, uh, and um, if, if the data is still not find the main memory, then the request go to the disk. Okay, so that's kept a so hierarchical um, uh, query structure. Um, once once the data is located, then the data and a number uh, uh, is nearby data element are fed into the uh, cache memory. We uh, we gotta explain why why the um, nearby data element also uh, be uh, fetched into the main memory uh, later on. Okay. So here's a, a, a few definition um, of, um, related to the uh, uh, memory. So a hit is when data is found at a given memory level. A miss is when it's not found in there, um, some uh, place. 
uh, in the in the memory uh, hierarchy uh, uh, architecture. Uh, the heat rate is the percentage of time data is found at a given uh, memory level. Uh, the miss rate is the percentage of time is not found. Um, so we, you can see that the miss rate so basically equal to one uh, subtract the heat rate. The heat time is the time required to access data at a given uh, memory level, and the miss penalty is the time required to process a miss, including the time that takes to replace a block of memory plus the time it takes to deliver data uh, to the processor. Okay, so this uh, take more time if we uh, uh, have the miss penalty. Uh, So uh, an entire the block data is the uh, copy after a hit because the uh, principle uh, local uh, locality uh, um, tell us that the one a buy is the access it's uh, likely that a nearby data element will be uh, needed soon. Okay, so this kept a uh, uh, kept a um, uh, um, uh, empirical. Um, um, approach where we see that uh, most of the time when data are written one um, uh, location in the memory likely the nearby data also be uh, needed in order to process uh, or to accomplish some task so basically that we call a principle of uh, locality okay um, there are uh, three forms of uh, uh, local, uh, locality um, that the uh, temporal um, uh, temporal uh, locality um, so recently access data element tend to be accessed again um, so that's gonna be over time uh, uh, special uh, spatial or, or locality that the access tend to a cluster so um, this in term of the uh, location in the memory so that's what we call a spatial or uh, a spatial uh, locality and also a sequential uh, locality that instruction tend to be uh, accessed uh, sequentially okay so let's just have a um, uh, brief introduction about the uh, memory uh, hierarchy of the uh, system um, the uh, next uh, video we're going to talk about uh, different type of memory like cache memory uh, and uh, also a mapping a scheme so um, we're going to uh, discuss more detail about how the information could be a uh, um, access and so uh, storing different type of memories.